Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. Wow, I look like a mess because I've been shopping all day. Um, grocery shopping and other stuff. So normally I would be spending uh, the weekend with the boyfriend, but he got food poisoning. So uh, kind of ironic that I got food poisoning last week and now he has food poisoning this week. Or maybe it's just some kind of weird bug that's going around. But anyway, I wanted to film this uh, haul video for you, even though I'm sweating before I take my shower and I'll probably do a live and stuff, but I wanted to get this out of the way. So I have here just a collective haul of everything. I have my groceries in here too. Uh, so you can kind of see kind of see what I buy. Oh, I had my nails done, you guys. Some of you have commented already on uh, Instagram. Kind of like Willy Wonka nails. So let's see what we have from the supermarket. Let me put this in the fridge before it goes bad. So I did pick up my iced tea. I usually, you know, I had been getting the blueberry lemonade from the Dollar Tree, but it's starting to get a little too sweet for me, even though it doesn't have any sugar in it, and even though I dilute it with water. So I've been going back to my staple, which is the Turkey Hill Diet Green Tea. So I picked up three of these. Um, I know where the other one is. Okay. And this I have to definitely put in the fridge. I picked up, this is my, my new favorite type of creamer is the Planet Oak, Oak, Oat, Planet Oat, Oat Milk Creamer. Um, this, I've never tried this flavor before. Usually I just get the regular, but um, they had coffee cake flavor. This does not have too much sugar and it only has four sugars. So uh, I figure I try the oat, uh, I've tried oat milk planet oat but not coffee cake so we're gonna try the coffee cake it's still cold so i'm thinking it's still good then of course i bought even though it was not on sale i got my cafe bustello which is a staple i'm like going through withdrawals from my cafe bustello when they have it on sale i get the giant jar but i take this to work with me and i keep my creamer in the fridge and i have that then i bought myself Please tell me I didn't lose some of my fruit. So I picked up a bag of the, uh, I'm gonna there, a bubba bag. A bag of the Mott's Gala apples. They did not have the Snapdragon apples that I usually get. Cherries, yes, I know cherries. They have been expensive. I paid $6 for these because they were $2.99 a pound. This is nature's candy very expensive it's expensive to eat well you know you can get candy and cookies and junk food for cheap but when you want to eat like fruit it's expensive so this is from cmi orchards uh so i got cherries which i love there was a president that supposedly was it millard fillmore i forget he supposedly died from eating too many cherries and drinking too much ice milk. I don't know. I got to go look that up. There was a guy that I used to watch on YouTube. I think his name was Dan Brown, right? It was called like Dan Brown's Universe or something like that. And <clears throat> one of the first videos I ever watched by him was 44 facts about our 44 presidents in 44 seconds let's go you know and uh, and one and that's how i learned about that but that was long ago that was the last president he spoke about was obama so that was a while back i don't know what dan brown's doing i should look it up look him up and see what he's doing um then i got some uh quaker buttermilk ranch i know rice crisps And then I got some hot dog buns because I've had the same three hot dogs in the 97, 97% fat-free hot dogs in the fridge that I should be eating before they go bad, but they stay good for a while. I picked up some, I know that looks dirty. I picked up some nectarines. I would have gotten more, but they were all like smashed and not good. So I was only able to get two nectarines, but I did get cherries and apples. So that's going to take care of it for the food stuffs from the grocery store. 
Then I will tell you, I went to the discount store the other day. Dog food for Malcolm, for my mom. Um, the discount store the other day. I picked up a plastic uh, roll away tub that I put under my bed. You guys don't need to see that. I got this scarf because I figured it'll go with one of my pink St. John's Bay or red St. John's Bay shirts. I don't know if you can see it. It says Roma on it and it has, it looks like donuts, but I think they're like life preservers anyway. And it has like this floral print tulip. So it was like, you know, it's odd for me to buy like a silky type scarf. This is not actually silk, but so this was a dollar 99. So I'll wear that with one of my pinky shirts. Um, I saw a silk Marilyn scarf a silk Marilyn Monroe scarf and TJ Maxx for like $50 the other day. They must have been out of their mind. And then they had these kimono cover-up things with the American flag. They were like, I don't want to say $40, but they were expensive. Especially since it's after 4th of July. Not many people wearing the American flag after 4th of July. Except for like Veterans Day, Memorial Day, stuff like that. I guess you could get multiple uses out of it. I needed a new rug for Malcolm to put his dog food and... Uh, water bowl on because when he eats his food he pushes the bowl with his face because it's a tile floor so this prevents him from sliding you know walking and pushing his food while he's eating so his uh his dog mat said bon appetit i had to get rid of it i got it from a subscriber i hated to to get rid of it i had it for like i want to say five years at least something like that some crazy like that it could not be washed anymore. It was, you know, it had gotten its use. So I, I got this for $7.99. This says, Cocina con Amor. Now, I'm thinking this is Spanish because I used to take Spanish classes. I don't remember much of my Spanish. But I know that says, Kitchen with Love. Now, if it was Italian, it would be Cocina with this with a u i don't i never took italian but because i am italian i know that so if it was italian it, correct me if i'm wrong it would be cucina and then this i think is spanish because it's cocina so anyway you're not gonna be able to see it because it's gonna have bowls on it and then yeah so that's what i got from national wholesalers I went to Bath and Body Works the other day. The only thing they had on the 75% off table, literally, the only thing that was on the 75% off table other than You're the One Triple Moisture Body Cream was this lone fine fragrance mist of At the Beach, which I already have a large size one that I picked up before. This will be my second one, which I may or may not give away. And then I have a small one. I, uh, I really do like At the Beach. It's really grown on me and... Of course, a great summer fragrance. Then I had to stop by Sally's Beauty Supply because, because my damn bottle of aloe from Fruit of the Earth. Okay. I cracked this. It's, it's cracked. It's, it's not repairable. I knocked this off my fridge, the top of my fridge. It went flying on the floor and I snapped the thing there. So I went to get another, I went to get one of these things at Sally's Beauty Supply. And then I was like, I said to the, the woman, is, is this going to be, it's going to be too big. And then she was like, well, you could just cut the bottom. And I was like, duh, I never would have thought of that. Um, so yeah, I had to stop at Sally's Beauty Supply to pick that up. Then today I went over to um, Marshall's. I was gonna go to TJ Maxx because I have to, I know you guys say to me, a couple of people said to me, well, at least one person said, well, maybe people are not watching your channel because you return a lot of stuff. Well, let me tell you, some stuff just does not fit or does not fit properly. So I bought, I have the receipt. I bought these shorts the other day from uh, TJ Maxx. They're a size extra large. They fit, 
they look terrible. They're too short. Um, I'm not wearing booty shorts. So, yeah, they were $12.99. I like them. Um, I just don't like the way they look on me. So, these have to go back. Not my fault. The other pair of pants that I got, these Capri pants from, um, those were $12.99. These were $19.99 from Time and True. These are size extra large, right? These, they fit perfect. These are staying. Love them. They look great. They were both size extra large. This one looks great. The other ones look terrible. So there's that. Then, um, yeah, so I'm just showing you that just to show you that. I didn't go to TJ Maxx today. I went to Marshall's. TJ Maxx is further or further away. Um, so I got these again. Last time I found them in TJ Maxx. This time I found them in Marshall's. The last time I mentioned them, people were really interested. I just threw out the package and didn't include it in the haul. Like, threw out the package after it was done. And I didn't include it in the haul. And a lot of people were really interested in the Stroop waffles. And I just didn't think anybody would care. But I got a lot of comments asking me what brand of Stroop waffles were they? You know, where can they find them? What do they look like? And I had thrown them out and I couldn't find the package in the garbage. But I found it again today. So for you guys that were so interested, I, they had a, quite a, a number of bags of these. But I only got one because, I, you know, I would eat. I'll sit there and I'll eat the whole bag. So these are Dalemans or I don't know. It says since 1904. So this is the brand, right? And it says the authentic Dutch Stroop Waffles. Value pack, 50% more minis. These are chocolate. Now, I did not know. I thought they were just going to be thin wafers. I did not see this part when I first bought them. These are soft toasted chocolate waffles filled with caramel, cinnamon, and real bourbon vanilla. These were $3.99. When I tell you these are the most delicious things that you will ever put in your mouth. Hashtag, yes, I know that sounds dirty. Uh, I highly recommend these. If you're not watching your weight and you are not diabetic and you like Stroop waffles, the or not or if you've never tried a stroop waffle these are amazing so for everyone who was interested take us take a screen cap i'll hold it this way so you can take a screen cap or pull it off my ig and uh check them out they have them at tj maxx now i found them at marshall's um and you get a good size bag for 3.99 these are 140 calories for only four waffles so there are nine servings per, for this bag i could easily sit there and eat this whole bag literally they are so good so then you guys know that i said that i was looking for pajamas i happened to find this pajama set it was 12.99 i have no idea if it's gonna fit it's very it's stretchy it's by a company called tahari these were yeah 12.99 so these are uh, like a razorback type so this is extremely stretchy so i would be very surprised if it doesn't fit uh it's very soft uh i'm not nuts about the the razor back you know thing but so this is the top these are the shorts i know these are going to be like booty shorts but maybe not so these are the shorts and like, like I said, if they don't fit, I would be very surprised. So these are like silky and they have a lace bottom. So I got these, uh, leopardy shorts. Then I got this crop top. I'm going to wear this in the house. I always see these tops and I imagine that they're going to look right on me, but they would look right on me like 20 pounds less. Um, so I saw they had one with the band kiss on it and I hate kiss, but the shirt was purple, which is my favorite color. And it just had the logo, the KISS logo repeated over and over again. Um, I was going to get it. And then I saw this other one. And I was like, okay, I like this band better, certainly, than KISS. Because I think KISS, first of all, I know I don't want to offend all the KISS fans. I mean, I don't have anything against their music. But they have way too much money. And they just, like, commercialized everything. They, have, they merchandise themselves to death. You know, I think they even have KISS coffins. They're just too much. Anyway, 
I found this crop top. Uh, I might just wear it around the house. It was $9.99 and then it was reduced to $8. This is an extra large, but it's juniors. And this is a band that I do actually listen to, but not that often. That is ACDC. And it says, for those about to rock, we salute you. <laughs> yeah, but so I, I imagine, I always imagine that it's going to look better on me than it does. But I really, I really hope this fits because at least I could wear it in videos. I just, I just really like it. I really do like it a lot. I do like the ACDC. When I saw the Kiss one, I was like, I, that's really cute, but I hate Kiss. And then I went and I looked past a couple of shirts and I was like, oh, ACDC, even better. So, and it does have some stretch. So let's hope, let's hope. If I ate more fruit and less strip waffles, it probably would look better. And that's it. That's it for this completely random haul. So um, remember to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense. I will see you all soon in a future video or a future live. Uh, but until then, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.